the ruble is just a pile of paper, Putin screams in despair, Russia's $350 billion is completely frozen. Putin deserves the ending. In a situation of tension has not eased. The West deals a huge blow to Russia's financial system. S. New Status, an analyst has warned that Russia's currency could collapse, putting Vladimir Putin at risk of a financial disaster. Liz Truss, UK Foreign Secretary, today warned that sanctions against Russia must be increased. $604 billion, £461 billion, worth of foreign currency reserves have been frozen by the West. On the other hand, the war has made Putin spend all his oil and gas money to accumulate his unsuccessful money and no longer spend it on the army that kills him. Please do the that it is good for the Russian economy. Indeed, Putin loses anyway, Russia will take many years to return to the international community, the cost of money will be disabling in the long run, then both lives will be lost unnecessarily, Russia will never be forgiven for that and we the West will. To help Ukraine rebuild their country, but this can only come when no more booking, until then the world can help at its best. Before that, the previous round of sanctions against Russia was not enough to damage Western economies, because now we need some more measures. The ruble is linked to Russia's gold reserves and commodities that do not stop working. Russia is trading with Saudi China Brazil India and more. The dollar has no support, it is worthless will soon be proven. This thing is better than all what they we know, and see the report from the House report on the face at Ukraine, give her another picture of the MSM version of this conflict, nothing like it this day, and the meeting of the public company as also get us a game to play. In a recent speech, Ms. Truss said during a visit to Poland, the only way to end this war is for Vladimir Putin to lose in Ukraine. Although the Russian army was defeated in the first attack on Kiev, their intentions and ambitions have not changed. We are seeing Putin's forces setting their sights on the east and south of Ukraine, with the same reckless disregard for the lives of civilians and their nation. With that, absolute power completely corrupts, a lesson the West has learned, but clearly does not. With its specialist regimes and product range, Russia is a threat to both itself and the country's producers. The Russians must escape the tyranny of Putin's imperialism and his army of kleptomaniacs. Previously, Russia was subject to sanctions. It needs to be attacked with a missile operator. The navy should be sunk, submarines destroyed, no need to stand still and all nuclear weapons bunkers bombed. The Kremlin should turn into a pile of burnt bricks. Last month, a Central Asia expert at the non-profit Institute for Foreign Policy Studies said that the Russian currency could completely collapse as a result of these actions, and Maximilian Hess agrees. Now, the difficulty is that we're basically in a spiral where we don't know how many more unrealized losses we have to realize, he said. According to global strategist Christopher Smart of the Bearings Investment Institute, the Russians will feel the impact of sanctions.